Hey everyone, Mrs. Van Huff here, and I have a special story for you called Olive the Other Reindeer. And this story is by Vivian Walsh and J. Otto Siebold. Every day, Olive took her daily dog walk, winter, spring, summer, or fall. Today was a winter's day. It was the holidays. There was music playing outdoors. People were singing along. All of the other reindeer. Olive was too shy to sing. <laughs> she hummed. Back at her doghouse, Olive was wrapping presents and listening to the radio. She heard that same song again. All of the other reindeer, went the song. Olive, the other reindeer, she sang along. Olive, the reindeer, said Olive. I thought I was a dog. Hmm, I must be a reindeer. It was the time of year when all reindeer reported to the North Pole to help Santa Claus. Olive put down her scissors carefully and marched out the door. Do you understand what's happening? The song says, all of the other reindeer, but Olive hears it as Olive the other reindeer. What do you think? Is Olive the dog the other reindeer? We're gonna find out. She took one bus and then two buses. She got there just in time. Santa was checking his list for the second time. Elves were busy helping the reindeer and loading the sleigh with presents for all the good boys and girls. Everyone was getting ready to go. Olive took her place. Santa noticed there was a little dog in the lineup. Santa knew a lot about dogs. For instance, they can't fly. But as it was time to go, he decided to give Olive a chance. Comet, the biggest reindeer, used a piece of ribbon to make sure Olive was tied in safe and tight. Now they were ready to go. That was nice of Santa. Olive was surprised it was so easy to fly. <laughs> Look at Olive. He's doing it. The other reindeer were very curious about the new helper. They looked at Olive so much, they weren't watching where they were going. Uh-oh, <laughs> crash! They flew smack into the top of a too tall tree. Oh dear, said Santa, my sleigh is stuck in this tree. I'll have to cut it free. Olive clung to the side of the tree. She tried to fly up to help Santa, but she could not. She climbed up slowly and started chewing. Chewing sticks was something Olive could do well. Thank you, Olive, said Santa Claus as they got back on their way. Oh, look at that. They had not traveled far when Olive's nose began to twitch. Olive smelled trouble. It was the smell of gumdrop candies as they fell from the sleigh. Drop, drop, drop. Olive barked and Santa knew what to do. He steered the reindeer down and around so that all of the gumdrops fell. Plop, plop, plop back into the toy sack. Oh, that's awesome that Olive was there with her awesome scent sniffing nose to help catch the gumdrops. We were very lucky to not lose a single gumdrop, thought Olive. Then she heard a strange sound. It was a musical note. Eee! She spun around on her string to see the night sky filled with falling flutes. Olive had to howl louder than the wind instruments. This was not music to Santa's ears. First gumdrops and now flutes, thought Santa. That tree must have torn a hole in my sled. Prepare for an emergency landing, Santa instructed. I wondered where all those things were coming from. The sleigh landed in a snowy field full of flutes. Luckily, 
Olive was very good at fetching sticks. It is something dogs love to do. Before Santa had finish, finished patching the hole in the sleigh, Olive had returned each and every flute back to the sack. Ho, 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 said Santa, we're ready to go. They were running late, but after a while, all the good children received the presents and Santa and his team headed home. Look at Olive still hanging there. They were almost home when they got caught in the dreaded North Pole fog. The reindeer slowed down until it was only the breeze that moved them along. The fog was as thick as a pillow. It made everyone feel sleepy. Then Santa remembered something about dogs. They are expert smellers. Olive, I'd hate to be late for breakfast this year, he said. Mrs. Claus has planned a parade of cookies. Mmm, you can almost smell them can't you? Olive could smell the cookies. Olive, won't you guide my sleigh this morning? asked Santa. Olive moved to the front of the reindeer. Thanks to Olive's nose and Mrs. Claus's baking, they made it all the way back to the North Pole. All of the elves sang out in cheer, hooray, hooray, Santa and the reindeer and the little doggy are back. <laughs> Aw, back at the North Pole, it was a glorious morning. After eating lots of good food, it was time to open presents. The reindeer got jump ropes and the elves got toy trains. Santa reached into his toy sack. There was just one present left. It was for Olive. It was her very own set of reindeer antlers, and they fit perfectly. Then everybody went outside to play reindeer games. What do you guys think? Did Olive make a great reindeer? I think so too. I think, I think Olive was a perfect reindeer for that night. Merry Christmas. Hope you're having a great day.